Wakati wa Kenya siku ya leo waliadhimisha siku ya mazingira katika kaunti mbalimbali humu nchini kwa kusafisha miji na kupanda miti kama njia moja wapo ya kupambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Waziri wa Mazingira Aden Dwale aliongoza hafla ya kusafisha mto Nairobi katika bustani ya Aboretum na kama Emily Chebet anavyoarifu ni kwamba mama wa taifa B Rachel Ruto amewazawadi watoto wa shule za msingi ambao wanajihusisha na masala ya mazingira. Kwa mara ya kwanza tangu tarehe kumi mwezi Oktoba kubadilishwa kuwa siku ya mazingira, maafisa wa serikali waliongoza baadhi ya wakenya katika upanzi wa miti na kusafisha miji. Wizara ya mazingira ikitilia mkazo muhimu wa mazingira safi, waziri Aden Duale akisema kuwa ni jukumu la kila mkenya. Our country has suffered droughts, severe droughts, in the last one which we have never seen it in 40 years. You have seen the floods that took place in our country. Where in Nairobi alone we have lost over 42 people. Katika eneo la Nairobi waziri Dwale akiwaonya wale wanaochafua mito na mazingira kuwa sheria itatumika. We have put on notice the polluters of Nairobi River. Industries, factories, slaughterhouses, Nairobi Water and Sewer Company. Adi Water and Sewer Company. Those who dump who collect the garbage. Mama wa taifa Rachel Ruto alikuwa katika ikulu ya Nairobi katika hafla ya kuwatuza wanafunzi kutoka shule za msingi zaidi ya elfu moja ambao wanajihusisha na uhifadhi wa mazingira. In 2022 when Kenyan faced its worst drought in 40 years, it was our children who suffered the most. As families struggled to find food and water, some schools were forced to close and some of you had to drop out of school to help your families survive. Tuzo hiyo maarufu Mazingira Awards ikifanyika wakati wanafunzi wamehusishwa pakubwa haswa katika kufanikisha upanzi wa miti bilioni 15 ifikapo mwaka wa 2032. The winners we will be awarding today are confirmation that if we give children a chance we will get better results for our community and nation. The creative expression of learners that will be displayed today is thought-provoking and gives us fresh perspectives. Learning starts from a nursery. Our trees start from a nursery. So the two very important angers of the future, which is environment and our children, Siku hii iliadhimishwa pia katika kaunti mbalimbali mbali nchini. Maadhimisho ya kwanza ya siku ya mazingira yamefanyika kote nchini kaulimbeo ikiwa upanzi wa miti na usafishaji wa mazingira. Emilichebedu Ninga Citizen Aboreta